Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about my four dogs, calling them one by one to sit on this chair and tell you all about their characteristics and show at least one trick that they do. If you're new to my channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. So this one here is Kyra and as of this recording she is 4 years old. Even though she's the eldest, she is the smallest dog in size living in this household. She is of the Babylon breed in which Babylon is French for butterfly. Babylons are also called continental dog spaniels. Wow, that is a very long name. Continental dog spaniels. Try saying that three times in a row. I like the other name better because it sounds exotic and it's easier to use in this video and I don't have to keep on saying continental dog spaniels maybe I'm just lazy the reason why they are called papillons is because of these you see these hairs on the sides of their ears they are very long and fringe giving papillons the butterfly look like appearance okay she's very sleepy she's not willing to show i'll just keep a picture in the video papillons are known to have a lot of energy and i mean a lot of energy like gyra here it is very difficult to take her on walks she gets way too excited and she will pull the leash everywhere she looks small but she is very strong and we can never take her on walks with the other dogs she always needs to be taken separately because even we have to put all our energy in controlling her we can always tell in which room she is whenever she is inside the house because we can hear her her nails are quite long and she is always moving from one room to another so we can hear her like she's wearing heels. Babylons are excellent watchdogs and that is very true because Kyra here is very alert and sometimes when she starts growling in the middle of the night it means that something is off. Our locality has a few thieves that come at night and our house didn't have proper protection before and we lost so many of our dogs in the past because these thieves will come and give poisonous food to them and they will just die a few days later. Our compound is much safer now ever since we renovated the house and put CCTVs all around. But even so, we never allow our dogs to sleep outside because anything might just happen. I think the only downside about papillons is that they are garudas. Do you know what that means? Well, when it comes to dogs, it means excessive barking. And that's what she does whenever she's outside. All day long, she will bark at every person, at every vehicle, at every other dog. Basically, she will bark at everything that moves. Sometimes I feel like my head will just explode. But besides this, Papillons are excellent family dogs. And I just found out recently that according to Dr. Stanley Curran, an expert in animal intelligence, Papillons are among the top 10 brightest dogs ranking number 8 out of 138 breeds that have been tested. Are you really that smart? Anyway, let me show you a trick that she does. Stay, stay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And now it's Darcy, the youngest in this family, and she just turned one year old a few weeks ago. Aww. Anyway, I'm just gonna share a little story about her. So, during the last week of November last year, I was invited to this service by my friend and I was like, 
okay, I'll go since I'll get to see one of my old classmates. But little did we know that the service is actually an advanced Christmas gift exchange. And we didn't bring any gifts. It was so embarrassing. But the leaders were so cool. They said that even if you didn't bring any gift, a gift will still be provided for you. So, long story short, my friend got a keychain of Chelsea and I got a keychain of a small Dalmatian. How am I supposed to know that the keychain was actually a sign that I was gonna get a Dalmatian of my own? A few days later, my friend from work, Juliana, just recently delivered a baby and I went to visit her and her baby is very adorable. Later that day, after having tea, Ju asked me if I wanted to see her pets and I was like, of course, I love animals. And I had never seen a Dalmatian before. That day was the very first time. And Darcy here was friendly to me from day one. One month later, Juliana texted me and asked if I wanted a dog. And in my head, I was like, no, I already have three dogs at home and they are already difficult enough to manage as it is. Then she told me that she will give me her Dalmatian. And I just said yes. At first, I hesitated because of the responsibility that I have to put in. But then I realized that I will never get a chance like this again. So I just accepted it and that's when I began to get excited to get Darcy. But I had to wait for a few days because I had already planned a trip to Sikkim for vacation. Sikkim by the way, very awesome place. Anyway, when I came back home, I went to take the dog and Juliana's family was so nice. They told me that many have asked for Darcy. Some have even offered money, but they didn't give Darcy to any of them because they wanted her to be in a family who loves dogs. And I am truly blessed that they chose me. Thank you so much again, Ju and family. Something that I forgot to mention was that I took the family car to get Darcy. And our car, let me tell you, it's all fine now because we gave it for repairing. But a few months ago, it was truly a rust bucket. It wouldn't start most of the time and on that day it was almost out of gas. So on the way back, the car died in the middle of the road, right in front of the policeman. And I thought that he was gonna get angry for blocking the road. But no, he was very cool about it. He gave me a chance to push the car to the side of the road. After that, I began to wonder if the car is out of gas or if the battery was dead. So I began searching for an empty bottle inside the car, but I couldn't find one. Then I saw that there was a shop nearby and I went and asked the shopkeeper if he had an empty bottle to spare and he was so cool too. He said no, I don't have, but he'll get one for me. So a minute later, he came back and gave me the bottle. The reason why I needed the bottle because I was planning to go to the nearest gas station and fill that bottle with petrol. But I couldn't leave Darcy alone. You should never leave a dog inside a car. So I took her along. Anyway, we got the petrol, came back, filled in the gas, and the car still won't start. means that the problem was with the battery. So I got someone walking by to help me push while I gear started the car. It took a while but eventually it started and I managed to reach back home. So at home Darcy was obviously scared and she wasn't friendly to the other dogs at all. Which was understandable because she was already 7 months old when I got her. Even the other dogs didn't accept her at first. It took about 2 weeks or so and Darcy was finally added as a part of the pack and that is her story. Now her characteristics is that she is very cheerful, she eats a lot but she doesn't like noises, she is terrified of them. She still hasn't gotten used to the sound of the fan, the grinder, the pressure cooker and the other night there was this very loud thunder in the middle of the night. She got so scared. She woke up and she was shaking from head to paw. I had to hug her the whole night until she could fall asleep again. One thing that I really like about Darcy is that she doesn't do her business inside the house. At night, she will always wake me up and show signs that she wants to go. There has been a few times that she peed while sleeping but that's only happening because she is going through some changes. One last thing about Darcy is that she is also a barker. 
She doesn't bark as much as Kyra, but maybe almost the same. She is snoring. Dalmatians are really an awesome breed, and there are some rare breeds out there in which the spots are not black. Some will have blue spots, some will have yellow spots, some will have brown spots like Darcy's mother and some will have multicolored spots. If you happen to have a rare spotted Dalmatian, then let me know in the comment section below. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Stay. 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 Catch. This is Angela and she is the gentlest dog in this household and we have never had a dog who is as gentle as her. She is gentle as water in a fishbowl. She is half Siberian Husky and half Akita and what's fascinating about Siberian Huskies and Akitas is that they are very similar. They both belong to the Spitz family. They are both recognizable by their double fur coat one layer is a dense undercoat and the other layer is a longer top coat. These coats allow them to withstand extreme cold temperatures and can also reflect heat in the summer. They both have bear shaped heads with triangular ears and distinctive markings. Whenever it's cold, they will curl up in a circle with their tail over their nose for additional warmth. They usually howl instead of barking and in the case of my dogs, they can stare at you for a very long time. And because of their gentle nature, both Huskies and Akitas can be trusted around children. There are some differences too but one difference that I will mention here is that Huskies originated from Siberia and hence the term Siberian Husky. They were known to be used for sled pulling guarding the house and companionship. Akitas on the other hand originated from the mountainous regions of northern Japan and they were known to be used for hunting bears. Now what Angie here likes to do is to crawl under small spaces like under the sofa or under the bed. And she is a big dog. How does she even fit into these small spaces? Whenever she is done with dinner, she won't be like the other dogs in the house. The other dogs will get up on a chair or on a bed, but not Angie. She will crawl under the bed into the deepest corner and sleep there. Now, one trick about her is that she tries to howl out I love you as much as she can when asked, but I cannot make her do that. Only my sister can, so let me just go call her. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Ông Biam. I love you. I love you. Good girl. I love you. Now, the last but certainly not the least, this one here is Junior and he is the only male dog in this household which means that he is the alpha dog. Okay, he doesn't want to sit there. Uh, he's not feeling well these days because he accidentally sprained his ankle while playing. But his characteristics is that he is very protective to the other female dogs, he is very caring to us, the family members and he is an excellent watchdog.
Another Mikalia lesson is that Mikalia has 11 districts. Its population as of 2016 is... Its capital is Shillong and its nickname is the Scotland of the East. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a like, comment down below, check out my last video right here, click on this button to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Babylon. Babylon. Oh, Babylon. Am I pronouncing it right?